Hi, Scissorin here with another video, and this is gonna be a quick collab with Tai Tai Killer, answering a lot of the leveling questions and tips and tricks for a smoother league start that a lot of people might have. Tai Tai, thank you so much for joining me today. Yo, what's up, dude? Log, Log in, in dude. <laughs> All right, what are the questions you're gonna answer from people? All right, so I'm just here to answer a lot of the questions I get from people asking about like early game stuff. So most people know that like, if they're gonna follow your elementalist cold dot, like you know they're gonna go cold dot at like 28. The question that people often get is like, what are the, what's the best setup? Because there's there's beginner guides, but there are like best leveling setups, and there's a lot of different ways to level builds. Especially now that we've lost onslaught, we've lost the wand craft. A lot more things open up, and other doors kind of get like other options get a little bit worse. And so what I'm gonna go over today is how to level those builds and just go through different archetypes. Let's start with like the caster. So this is the first thing that we were going to talk about. There's like three different options you can do go down. There's easy, uh, like there's like very beginner. There's like once you gain a little bit of skill and then there's like, I want to say expert or like yeah. racer. And so starting with the racer, which most people, they don't like starting with the hardest one. But I want to start with this hardest one, which is Orbistorm Storm Stormblast Mine. The reason why this is the hardest is because if you don't stack up your Orbistorm st Storms, or if you don't use Stormblast Mine in your Orbistorms, Storms, you don't get value out of it. And then on top of that, um, you need to have as many Stormblast Mines stacks out before you click Detonate, and then you Detonate once, so you have a nice sequence of uh, of Mines, and you gain the buff from Stormblast Mine, which increase, increases the damage that mobs take. Uh, this is really hard to play, and requires quite a bit of racing skill, so I don't recommend it as much. Even though every racer will continue to use this, and even though you see it, I'd recommend one of the other setups. So the other setup is primarily for like Templar, where you run Rolling Magma and Ellie Prolif and like Combustion as well. Uh, you use like Holy Flame Totem and Flame Wall, and that's it. That's like the leveling setup. Um, I don't rec really recommend this as a Witch or as a Shadow, just because I think the next setup is a lot easier to use and it's about as good. This setup is primarily useful for, for Templar since it basically already gets all of these gems and it's just super easy to level. Um, the third setup though, the one that I'd really recommend is going Cross Bomb and Freezing Pulse. The reason why I'd recommend this is because Freezing Pulse um, uh, is just a really useful, really easy skill to use. You aim it at mobs. Most people don't know that the closer you are to the mob, the more damage you deal with Freezing Pulse. This is right on the gem, but it's kind of lost in the essay of text. So I'd recommend getting close to mobs, Freezing Pulse. Later on at level 4, you get Frost Bomb, which is just good for clearing. Um, it also debuffs monsters, so you place it down, you Freezing Pulse the boss to death. Seems good. I'd also recommend using Holy Flame Totem and Flame Wall in this setup, if you can fit it in. That's really good. A lot of people think that Frost Bomb has to detonate for the uh, debuff to go off, but it's actually as soon as no. Frost Bomb is pulsing next to the target, they do get debuffed instantly. Yeah, there's like a little little animation where it's like... Pew. Yeah. And that means that not only are they debuffed, so they have less cold res, but they also uh, regen less life. And so that's useful for like Oak if your name starts with a Q. He's healing! Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's that's it for the, for the caster setup. I think caster is generally pretty easy. If you want to go Freezing Pulse, um, Frost Bomb, that's really good up until about 28 or so. Usually when I find that that setup falls off. Um, super simple to use though. I'd really recommend it if you don't really know what you're doing and you're trying to follow a build guide. Yeah, I think a lot of people are going to be asking about if Spark is still viable for leveling. Um, I think that the loss of projectiles in Spark doesn't hurt that much. I think that the loss of projectile speed doesn't hurt that much. I think that the loss of gaining non-crits are lucky. Yeah. And the loss of plus one chain on Orba Storms and the loss of Onslaught hurt that build so much more than it hurts every other build to the point where I wouldn't really want recommend using it. Um, really, it's okay as a setup. I just think that I would go faster going Orba Storm, Storm, or let's not go with the hardest setup. I think yeah. I would go faster with Freezing Pulse and Frost Bomb than I would going Spark. And so even if you love going Spark, I think you'll still enjoy going Frost Bomb and Freezing Pulse. Perfect. All right, let's move on to melee. Tell us a little bit about some tips for that. Yeah, getting into melee, um, level one, you're still going to go splitting steel. I know it got nerfed, but it's still pretty much the best option. I don't think anything else comes close. Um, if you're super advanced, there might be some tech with like going frost blades and then having a single target setup, but I don't really recommend that because splitting steel will cover everything you need. Um, other than that, you pretty much just go straight into helix at level 12, and even though it got nerfed, um, why do why I think it was just two three patches ago yeah. it got nerfed to 100% damage effectiveness. I think the gem is still like pretty good. 
Um, if Shattering Steel didn't get nerfed, we would use that, but it did get nerfed and it got pretty substantially nerfed, so... Um, we're just gonna go Helix. The other setup you can do, which is okay, I don't recommend it, but it's okay, is Sunder. Sunder is actually back on the menu if you enjoy going slams. If you absolutely hate and you detest the Helix gameplay, Sunder has really good clear still. Uh, the issue I find with Sunder is that if you don't rotate your Warcries out very well, um, it'll feel kind of weird. And on top of that, the boss DPS is substantially worse than Helix, in my opinion. Yeah, watching anybody play Helix and watching them clear around, I'm like, wow, this is actually really good. And then I remember that it, Herald of Ash does all the heavy lifting on those kind of builds. Yeah. And then um, and then they get to a boss, and it's like, well, <laughs> now they wish they were playing Helix right now. So. <laughs> For the most part, though, if you hate the Helix hammered-in gameplay of Diablo 2, I'd really recommend going um, Sunder. So, lastly, we have ranged. Um, the setup I'd recommend early is going Caustic Hero and Shrapnel Ballista. The loss of Onslaught means that things like Poison and Chaos Damage in general are, like, better because they're not as nerfed. Um, so it used to be an issue of, like, do I go Onslaught with, like, Galvanic Arrow? Um, I've never been a huge fan of that strategy just because it's inconsistent. Yeah. And so now the most consistent strat is also the best strategy, which is going Caustic Arrow. Shrapnel Ballista absolutely farms. Uh, if you put, like, a Pierce on it, it's actually really good for clearing, too. Uh, I think it's, like, a late game build that you can play as well, but... Anyways, the best setup for range is going to be Caustic Arrow Shrapnel Ballista at level 4. And you need Pierce on Caustic Arrow, you need Mirage Archer on Caustic Arrow, and once you have those, you're online, dude. You're logging in. Once you're level 12, you can go Toxic Rain, if you're going, like, if you're going, like, into Toxic Rain specifically, I guess. There's not really any other case where you go Toxic Rain. If you're going into any sort of bow leveling that's, like, elemental, go Rain of Arrows. If you're a super pro, you can go um, Lightning Arrow. But I really would just recommend going um, Rain of Arrows just because I think it's better. <laughs> um, I would highly recommend going into Vol Side Eras post like Ship Graveyard because you're looking for level 12 um, of any like Vol Bow skill. So like even like Vol Lightning Arrow, even while you're using Rain of Arrows, is still pretty good, I would say. Any of the new Bow Vol skills should really help out quite a bit with single target, which is what Ranger really lacks while leveling. Awesome. That's perfect. That's some great tips. Do you have any final tips for anyone? Um, final tips for would just be for for rangers specifically. You want to use your your range setup. So like let's say you use like a rain of arrows with like mirage archer and like some other damage gem like faster attacks. What you can what you should do is have a second setup where you have rain of arrows, uh, ballista totem, and then like another faster attacks, radical cold or something like that. And this way, while you fight single target, you put down your totems. So you go poop poop poop, and then you fire on your own, and you have totems. That are basically just your minions and you do more damage. If you don't do that, you won't have enough damage as ranger. Um, the best way to acquire weapons for all these three archetypes is for ranged. Just throw any elemental damage essence at a good bow. So if you're like, you know, level 12, you should use like a level 12 base. If you're like 18, you should use a highborn bow or whatever it is. And you just like throw an essence damage. Like, even though you would love to use like a hatred or an anger essence on like a piece of gear so that you get um, cold or fire res respectively. You should just throw it on a bow so you get elemental damage, guaranteed. Other than that, for melee, you really want to sell a melee weapon with a uh, rare Rustic Sash, as well as a Whetstone, so you get back Fizz. People know about that, but if you're really lazy, if you're speedrunning, if you're like me, I will just throw a random physical damage essence, like a Contempt, or even an elemental essence on a weapon. So long as I'm not using like weapon elemental damage, I think it's really good. I think that that's a good way of acquiring weapon. And the last one that people want to know the most about is going to be Caster. Yeah. So for Caster, um, there are crafts in Act 3, which give flat damage to spells. It costs four transmutes, so it's really expensive. The absolute best way to acquire a wand that is going to be equivalent to like the old level 20 crafts, which used to carry you to um, the maps, the level 20 vendor recipe. So even though that's gone, the best in strat strategy is going to be getting a Woe Essence, which gives you spell damage, throwing that on a wand, and then crafting on flat damage to spells, provided that you can craft it on. Once you get that, you can pretty much carry yourself the maps with it. Um, the alternative would be getting uh, an essence with like flat damage on it. So like a torment essence, for example, gives flat damage to spells. You really need to make sure the essence is flat damage to spells. And then uh, once you are on Vol Oversoul in Act 2, you can get uh, percent spell damage and you can craft that on as a prefix. And so that's that's going to carry you to the maps basically from Act 2. So there are replacements for the old strategies. They just require a little bit of work. Perfect. Thank you so it. much, Tai Tai Killer. Everyone, make sure you go check out Tai Tai. Does a lot of speed running, really cool content. And are you playing Softcore Trade League or? 
I think I'm gonna play the Chad Asuk League. With awesome, Stormage. super cool, Logan, dude. Super cool. Go check him out. Give him some love. And we both hope you have a great time in the upcoming Crucible League. Thank you guys so much yeah, for looking, watching. Bro. Sub to both of us if you liked the video. But more importantly, try to die, try to die. less than I, I do. Die. <laughs>